Today, on the Epiphany of Feast of the Epiphany, I would like to talk to you about three kings in your life. First one is Jesus Christ. Second one is the Herod. And third one are the three Magi. First one, Jesus Christ, for well, he is obviously king over all the kings and everything depends on him. Second one, uh, Herod. I would like to connect him to your life, to see his influence on your life. So I would say that Herod is the part of your personality who wants to be smarter than everyone else. And Herod in you is afraid of Jesus. He doesn't want to lose control over his life, over the things around him. He's the king in you who is willing and able to do awful things to keep his kingship and his influence. And he's also afraid that Jesus may take away his power, his influence, his royalty, good health, wealth, his enjoyment in life. He's afraid of Jesus. And the Herod in you is negotiating all the time with the Magi in you but he doesn't want to bow before Jesus. So what about Magi? Magi, I would say they are the good part of you. They are good part of your personality. And they are present in your faith and in your faith-based decisions. Look how long they traveled to see baby Jesus. Some say that it took them a year, others a few years to, to get to Bethlehem. And see how many trials they went through. They went through desert, through foreign country. They followed some star, some prophecies about King and Messiah. They took so risky journey to see Jesus. So consider, brothers and sisters, how unsure, unsafe, how risky was their journey. But they invite you to do that same. They invite you to follow the star, to follow the gospel, to follow Jesus Christ, and to trust the things which God puts in your life. We can ask what things. Well, there is plenty of them. But the question is, do I really want to see the things, the stars, the miracles which God puts in my life? Because so often it's better not to see any miracles, any star, and not to follow them, to not to take the journey and risky and trust to follow them. And even the star, to know about the star, the Magi needed to study about that. They needed to wait for the star, be prepared for its coming. And the question is, what are you waiting for in your life? What are you looking for? What signs do you would like to see in your life? Or which signs you don't see because you do not want to see them? And if you don't pray, if you don't spend at least a few minutes every day in silence before God, or if you are afraid of listening to Him or ask Him for guidance, then how He can be able to guide me if I don't want to be guided? And there is always Herod standing somewhere always ready to say how irrational, how stupid 
How risky are your inspirations which come from God? How dangerous your prayers, your desires, and better not to do them. The Herod in you is always ready to kill the Jesus, to kill everything what you want good to do in your life, to not allow it to bring fruits. And as we see, it, is, it was easier for him to heal so many unborn babies than later on kill 33-year-old Jesus. So be aware, brothers and sisters, that all difficulties which we encounter when you do something good is because the Herod is afraid of Jesus. The Herod doesn't want him to be your ruler, to be your king, to be your savior. Always be aware of this battle. A battle that can and will last all your life. The battle between good and evil. Conclusion is that Jesus is somebody real in your life. Do you want it or not? He is present in your life. And we can play hide and seek, or we can choose to follow the star through difficulties, worries, doubts, maybe darkness and despair. But it is mine and your choice to follow the star or not, to take the journey of faith every day or not.